born in the village of Santissima Annunziata, near Messina. Most of what is known about Saint Eustochia comes from the biography, discovered only in the 1940s, written two years after her death by one of her fellow nuns, Suor Jacopa Policino, daughter of the Baron of Tortorici. One of the miracles in the history of the saint is linked to this particular protection. It was the year 1615, and the city was struck night and day by appalling earthquakes. The authorities and the people implored the Eustochia sisters to request St. Eustochia's intercession. The poor Clares removed the body from the oratory where they kept it and placed it in the choir in its old stall. As the evening prayers were about to begin, the body, which had been incorrupt for almost two centuries, suddenly parted its lips, intoning the first line of a psalm from the office, which the nuns terrified and moved. From that moment, the earthquakes ended. So it can be said that even after her death, she continues to be the abbess of the monastery. Saint Eustochia, born Smeralda Califato, was the daughter of Bernardo Califato, a rich merchant of Messina and Mascaldo Romano. She was born on the Feast of the Annunciation, March 25th, 1434, also Good Friday that year. Her parents named her Smeralda, meaning Emerald. Smeralda's mother had attended one of Blessed Matthew's sermons as an 18-year-old bride. It had such a profound impact on her that she devoted her life to prayer, penance, and helping those in need. Thus, little Smeralda was raised from childhood to exercise Christian piety and virtue, eventually exceeding her mother's greatest hopes and expectations. Smeralda was beautiful both inside and out. She is thought to be the model for the painting the Virgin of the Annunciation by Antonello da Messina. One day in church, Smeralda had a powerful vision of Jesus crucified. The experience compelled her to devote herself completely to the Lord. When Smeralda was 14 years old, she wanted to become a poor Clare nun. However, her father had already arranged marriage for her to an older, wealthy widower. Smeralda kept hope in religious life, and the widower died before the wedding. Her father again arranged a marriage for his daughter, but that man also died. With each new proposal, Smeralda remained firm about her desire to enter religious life. Then, on a usual business trip to Sardinia, Smeralda's father died suddenly. After this tragic death, Smeralda requested entrance to the convent of Santa Maria di Basico, but her brothers threatened to burn it down if she entered, so the frightened sisters could not accept her request. After several months, Smeralda's brothers experienced a change of heart since they witnessed her intense desire to dedicate her life to Christ. She finally entered and took her vows at 15 and a half years old. She took the name Eustochia, meaning fruitful. She became known among the sisters for her conspicuous devotion and austerities, 
she frequently kept vigils, fasted often, and employed corporal mortification. Eustochia was a great lover of the poverty that marked the poor Clares, and felt that Bosico was drifting away from their core principles. Eventually, she requested permission from Pope Callistus III to establish a new convent, and it was granted. There are many testimonials to the heroic nature of the virtues practiced by Eustochia, and numerous miracles are recorded concerning the multiplication of food. It is said that on many occasions when the treasury of the convent was insufficient to buy provisions, Eustochia made the sign of the cross over two or three little pieces of bread, and there was miraculously enough to satisfy the appetites of the ten sisters who comprised the community. Eustochia's holiness drew many more to her community, so many that it soon outgrew the building and moved to Monte Vergine, near Messina, where their convent still stands. The local people considered Mother Eustochia their patron and protector, and the cloister was a place of refuge especially during the earthquakes that rocked the area. Mother Eustochia's love of Jesus in poverty and penance was outstanding. In fact, she bore for many years the stigmata, the wounds of Christ miraculously reproduced on her own body. She wrote a treatise on the Passion, which unfortunately is now lost. As she lay on her deathbed, Eustochia spoke to her daughters who had gathered around her about the Passion of Christ. On January 20th, 1485, she spoke for an hour and before closing her eyes said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Then she passed away. There left behind a community that had grown to 50 sisters. A few days after her burial, Eustochia's tomb and body manifested extraordinary phenomena, and many people received powerful graces through her intercession. She was beatified on June 22nd, 1987 and canonized on June 11th, 1988 by Saint Pope John Paul II. Her incorrupt body rests in the sanctuary of Monte Vergine in Messina, the monastery which she established and can be visited twice a week. Oh, my sweetest Lord, I would like to die for your holy love like you died for me. Pierce my heart with the lance and with the nails of your most bitter passion. The sores you had on your holy body, may I have them in my heart. I ask you for sores because it is my great shame and shortcoming to see you, my Lord, wounded when I am not wounded with you. Amen. 